Hi, I'm Susie, and today I have Grant, and we're gonna do a beautiful rainbow design on Grant's white prepared nails. It's gonna be fabulous! <laughs> So we're gonna do this with gel paints. I love my gel paints. Max sent me a whole bunch. Look at these guys. Now the reason why I like this particular design so much is because I don't know if you've ever used gel paints of any brand inside a pot. They leak everywhere and they're so messy. But this I kind of like, cause look, you can just squeeze a little bit out that you need right on your little table. and put it away. So I'm gonna do every color that we need here. Colors of the rainbow. The Max has 20 different colors. I just selected the rainbow colors. And just so you guys know, Max did not pay me for this video. I wanna show you a design and I'm just using some great product to get there. Okay, my green. I really like the ease of this little bottle. Get my Ooh, blue. that blue is everything. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Hey, it matches your shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty much. We did not plan that. But I do notice you're getting quite a nice little tan there. I am. When you didn't wear sleeves, you would have a terrible tan. Oh yeah. But Nothing quite like a Canadian summer though. That's yeah. right. So <laughs> lovely. So I've got all my colors on my little tray. I always just grab one of these like ceramic dishes. You can pick those up at the hardware store. I just picked this one up at the convenience store kind of thing. And the brush that I've got I just picked this up. I think this was at Michael's. And I'm just looking for that kind of wide, but quite thin. See how thin it is? You could do it with line brushes, like detailers and stuff, but I think I just want to do it with this one. Okay, so we're going to do a rainbow. I think we'll just do like different angles of the rainbow. Like some will be on the side, some will be the kid. We'll see. We're just winging it. We're, That's we're what winging I do it. here. Yeah. Sometimes I win. Sometimes, sometimes it works, lose. sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I believe so, in you. Thank you, Grant. I'm going to get the brush saturated with the paint. Sometimes you want to kind of move it out a little so you're not oversaturated. Now these paints don't move very well, as in when you put it down, it doesn't run, which is a huge bonus for something like this. So I've got a white base on. You could do it with white nail polish. It just has to dry quite a bit. and Or you can do it with gel polish. We did it with a buttercream, the white. So I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to do it this way. See how it sort of creates that wide, thick band? That's what I'm looking for. Now I do want to do this six in a row, so I've got to make sure that I have room to do the six. Now I do have a cuticle stick in case I get on the skin. So that's one. Now I have a tendency of wanting to do each and every color, like a completed design. I could go and do all the reds first, which is much more practical when you're doing a client, especially at the table and yourself possibly. But when I'm doing it here, I kind of want to show you a complete nail before we move on. But if we are doing someone, you do want to continue to do all your reds just because you have to change the color every time, right? So we're going to go add the orange. Now, again, this stuff is so good, it doesn't run into each other. Now, if you wanted to, you could nuke that red. Now, the advantage of that would be if you nuked it and you made a mistake with the orange, you can wipe it off and you wouldn't remove the red. But I'm going to gamble that I'm going to... Ooh. Ooh. This is reckless. It could be, because some days I'm on and some days I'm not, so. Oh, you know what? I'll keep a little saturated with alcohol, little pad there, because I don't want to retrace that step because I could bring some of that red, if it got caught on the brush, back into so that's a good reason to nuke it, but I don't like to over nuke it either. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue with my orange.
You do want them to be relatively... Well, I guess you don't have to make them the same thickness. It just depends whatever your little, you know, personal style and technique will be. Everybody's different. Grant found a hair and he's just mm -hmm. nicely removing it. Now, you do want to remove that red off the finger because if that nukes with it on there, it's going to stay on there for a little bit. It won't stay on there forever. That oil from this. It'll skin. stay on there forever. Forever. You'll have it like when you're 28. Wow. 30. 32? Sure. This is long lasting stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some yellow. I think I'm gonna have enough room to do all my colors. I think you are. I was a little hesitant there. I didn't think you. I was a little worried. I think I'm gonna make it, Grant. I will say in a design like this, it's actually easier to do yourself. So for anybody out there who's doing your own nails, this is an easier design to do yourself. And the reason being is when you're doing yourself, you can curve it like that. But when you're doing someone else, you don't have that agility. So Especially when the client's grand and he's just so rigid and he just Fidgety. sits here. Yeah, that's right. Like a child. Mm -hmm. You're actually pretty still today, Grant. Did you have coffee? I did. Mm, I'm impressed. You're actually really still. I didn't have that much, though. That's, mm. I think. Yeah. Not yet. Soon. I got two colors left to put on here. Are you still good? Not bad. <laughs> you didn't say good. You're not. You're saying not bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little less confident than I was. Oh no! Two minutes ago. Oh, it's you'll cute. be fine. You'll it's, be fine. Yeah, I think so. It's cute, isn't it? I like it. It's adorable. So I got me blue. I love that blue. It's very pretty. It matches your shirt really good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's sparkles on my shirt too. <laughs> okay. We were noticing as we were setting up today that Grant has sparkles in his hair and on his cheek. I just can't get rid of it. We used to tease him when he was younger that he would sweat sparkles. When he was younger, i.e. last week, we did that. <laughs> so. We've been doing that since you were like 12. <laughs> I'm still pulling glitter out of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it takes a village, people. <laughs> Now, if you're working with nail polish, it dries up much faster. That looks so good. It's cute, isn't it? I messed up on the green a little. I'm going to try to fix it. going to go back it. in there? Oh, yes. Susie. Susie, Which be is, careful. Which could be, like, totally dangerous. This is dangerous. Okay, so what did I learn from that? More purple. Oh yeah, but I think you knew that once you applied the red, right? No, I knew that once I hit the green, <laughs> that I was in purple trouble. <laughs> I knew I was in purple trouble. So when I was practicing, I will say that I actually took the top coat and like smeared it all around. It looked really cool. I'm not going to do that because okay. I don't want to mess it up because I know you're a neat and tidy, Grant's a neat and tidy kind of guy. So he's probably going to want the nice... But things need to I be like in their to place. Mess it up. No. Okay. Okay, oh, so we aren't even gonna like cure that. We're just gonna go. Yeah. I think I'd cure that. I think Please. I would. Isn't that a little risky? I think they'll think I'm gonna hit it, which is probably a very good point. It's happened. So no, yes. I did. I did say it. nuke it. You must have missed that part. Uh huh. <laughs> I clearly did. I didn't. I'm just joking. <laughs> now, see. Sometimes you can discuss this with a client get their artistic input. We could start with purple and work backwards for the different colors, or we stay in the same format on every single finger, starting with red and oh, going it'd to be purple. Oh, if you go from purple back. Yeah, do you think that you'd like that design if it was reversed? Like yeah, because I'd prefer it if they were all a little different, right? What are you going to do crazy. with the pinky? That's going to be so tiny. Maybe I shouldn't do it on camera because I'm probably going <laughs> to <laughs> It's kind of a big brush. I'm going to do the same thing, but I think I'm going to start with purple. Maybe I'll go a little more sideways.
try to cover the white completely on this guy. How's that? Maybe I'll come down. Try to make it a little bit more pointy in there. Does that make sense? It's pointy. Oh, I think that makes sense. Yep. Oh yeah, it's gonna yeah. work. It's gonna work. You're fine. I'm very confident. I always just like to clean it in between. I think I would even if I was working the same color. I'm just kind of like, I'm not a neat freak by any means, hey Grant? No, 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 you're not. No. I love you, but yeah, you're not. No. One thing about gel paint too, is that it doesn't dry like on this tray thing. If this was polished, you'd have to keep reapplying all the time because it dries up. Especially if it's fast drying polish, <laughs> you'll be in a little bit of trouble. Good. This is better planning for the size of the nail. This is good, Susie. You like it? I'm living for it. This is the symbol of I'm my people. I'm gonna come down. I thought glitter was. Yeah, we have multiple. You have lots of symbols. Unicorns. I Unicorns. thought it was Timmy's coffee. That's <laughs> 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 sugar. <laughs> I'm, I'm positioning for that. His in the people is future diabetics. <laughs> Sugar is so yummy. It's so good. Well, Ooh. Ooh. But there's a little bit. I've got a little bit of oh, no, Susie. green and blue collision over here. Did I just add, I just add the wrong color. Oh, Susie. You had one job. <laughs> okay, so I'll just replace that. I accidentally grabbed the blue, so I'm adding the green. Just doing like the very edge of the brush and just going in on the end and just drawing that green down. That worked. What I like about gel too is you can patchwork it like that and it'll just settle in together. Polish doesn't do that as easily. You can do it if it's quite fresh, but it won't do it if it's a little bit later. Okay, green now, yellow. That is a bright yellow. It is, yes. It's very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try to get right in there. We're like holding our breath. Ooh, you, Susie, you, you don't have a lot of nail estate left there. I know. I'm going to take a dry brush. Susie. I think that's working, except there's a little gap there. My old eyes can actually see it, so if I can see it, you can see it. See what? The green and the yellow. Oh, yes, see. I see it. Yeah. There's like a little white gap. I could not do this. You've seen me hold a brush and I, I just... Yeah, you're really... Um, skillful with it, aren't I? Just... I was a little surprised. <laughs> you were. I was a little taken back. <laughs> painting uh, is not your thing. You can... No, painting, drawing, really anything artistic is just not really... How about writing? Eh, nah. Yeah. They're just words. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good, good sales pitch, wasn't it? <laughs> They're just words. Okay, red is the last color on the end. Oh, you turned that out. Cute. That looks so good. Look at us. We look so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks really good. It's so different sometimes when you're doing it with a client because you kind of got your head down. You're right up in it. And you're 
than when you're doing it for film because you're trying to obviously it's also focused in so close and it's so <laughs> huge and you want to try to do it right the first time but mistakes do happen and it's all part of learning and creating and how to fix those mistakes that's what's so important how we fix them okay this is so cute okay i'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other three So just in doing the rainbows, I've learned I like the ones that kind of come off to a point on the side rather than kind of like chunky right to the side. Those are the ones that I prefer. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the sticky gel before we just do a little bit of stamping. I don't know if you noticed my nails, but I've got some really cute stamping ideas on here. So I just want to do a couple on top of the rainbow design. So I'm just going to remove just a little bit of sticky residue because it's hard to stamp on top of that. I've tried it and it just kind of slides off. It doesn't work at all. So remove that stick first and then our stamping plate. <laughs> I love stamps. They're so cute. And if you don't know how to draw, this is certainly the way to go. Enter Grant. Yeah, yeah. This would be good for you. So my vote is for Christmas. Um, Stamping uh, images. Oh, well, we're seven months too early for that, sweetie. Well. <laughs> You're going to have to wait. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pick this little love one. So I'm just going to put white paint. And where's my... I should get this ready before I do it, shouldn't I? And I'm going to suck up that love. And I am going to just remove, oh, I'm going to do it on my own. No, I'm going to do it on here. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that piece on there because it grabbed it too. Then I'm going to, I'm going to hold it just for a few seconds to make sure it does transfer completely. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little harder to see than I thought. Well, because I think you did it right on that. Yella, that's very... Right. Right, Aroni. Let's see Pepperoni. the lips come up better. Let's check out the lips. And I'm just going to pick up. I want to transfer all that. And they say I'll put the lips. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. It's cute. I'm a fan of the lips. You like the lips? Okay, I like the little love guy, so I'm going to actually try to put him a little bit more in the um, darker part. I'm going to try to angle it the opposite because the other finger is this way, so I'm going to try to do it this way. But I'm going to try to put it mostly over top of the darker. Oh, that's cute. Oh. Isn't that cute? Now you like the lips. I like the so lips. So let's go back to the lips for Grant. Cute. Oh, I guess we could do the thumb, eh, Grant? Oh, yeah. Let's put everything on the thumb. Everything? Everything. No Christmas stuff. Oh, though. I was just going <laughs> to suggest Christmas. I'm going to put a bunch of lips on here, okay? You seem to really like the lips. Well, I'm, I, I like Christmas stuff, but I also like the lips more. So, And for me, pride is way better than Christmas. So, right. You know, good. to try to put them on different angles of each other. And I did overlap this one here. See how cute that was when I overlapped it? I don't know if it'll work so good here, though, because it's... Huh. I thought those were coffee beans, not lips. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
romantic dude. Uh, that would, uh, <laughs> I would also enjoy coffee beans on my nails. That's next week's video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Going in for more lips. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one down here. Maybe like no. Oh that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna top coat these just to seal that design in there. And sometimes when you top coat it, it kind of makes it look nice and smooth and a little more even. It just pulls your design all together, really. So sometimes if you think it's looking kind of bumpy and lumpy, the clear just kind of fills it all in. It always looks way better. It does, doesn't it? It's funny how it does it. It's just clear, but it does seem to make the design look so much more polished, I guess. <laughs> Pardon the pun. I like the little love stamp. It's cute and adorable. It is pretty cute. Yeah. When I have problems in life, outside of nails, I just think to myself, well, if I had a clear top coat, it would it just, would just make everything fix better. everything. Yeah. Hasn't worked since, but you know, <laughs> I've tried. Okay, you can nuke that. So also too, I find if you're using stamping and you're using paint on more than 50% of the nail, you want to make sure that it dries really good before you put your top coat on because sometimes the top coat can just float on top of your paint if you've got so much paint. So you don't want to have too much paint because gel doesn't really stick to paint. But it will if you make it dry better. So make sure it's really dry. And get rid but of this stuff, sticky coat. Yeah. This stuff does dry really quick. So putting a top coat on right away is usually ideal, especially when you've just done a few little stamping designs. Okay. So now we're just going to oil the cuticles. And we're gonna go for the reveal shot. Okay, you're all ready for Pride this year. I'm so excited. I am too. Hey, wanna go to Vancouver Pride? Yes, that'll be uh, fun. That'd be so we haven't it. been to Vancouver Pride. We've done Victoria a couple of times, but we haven't done Vancouver. That'd be fun. Get ready, Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining Grant and I, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy Pride! Hey.